the gray escape and we had a person that just got us to close parking but i did see a lot more cars further up so it might be pretty packed but from the looks of it though steven demon's a walk-on so i think the dry park might be dead but the water park though might be maximum capacity i'm not entirely sure today but who knows we have tyler today how you doing Hey, how's it going, Avery? Doing pretty good. So, this is actually our first time going to Gray Escape together, but we've been to New England multiple times because that's also our home park. Yes. But this time we're at our closer one, and it's a beautiful area because we're right in the Adirondack Mountains. Yes. Yep. All right, here's the entrance, and so far it's a walk-on going through here. And right now you're actually hearing Oktoberfest theme, and actually Oktoberfest is here right now. You already have your tests. Please it kind of gives me Busch Gardens Williamsburg entrance. vibes a little bit. All right, we're about to do Alpine Bobsled. We're going to get the United Kingdom train. And they also have USA, you have Canada as well, and Italy, I think, or Brazil. I'm not entirely sure, but thanks. And this is the station queue, and the regular line probably looked to be about a good maybe 40 minutes. But I can't believe it's open, so I am definitely looking forward to do this for sure. Tyler, what's yeah, your thoughts? Definitely gonna be fun. I'm glad it's open. Oh yeah. Just glad it's open. That's all I can say. Guys, I just got off Alpine bobsled, and let me tell you, I'm actually gonna miss this very much. This was matching my childhood. The first time I went on this was back in 2006 when I was about eight years old. This is like my. It was actually no seven and a half years old. It was my first time to Grayscape, and it was open. And. Unfortunately, it's on its last stages, and that's why it's closing, and that's going to make way for the new Bobcat Gravity Group wooden coaster coming to Grayscape next year. But um, I will low-key miss this very much. This is definitely a masterpiece that it was relocated from Six Flags Great Adventure, and yeah. Very solid run. All right, guys, I also did a ride on Raging River, and I got to say, Raging River today was fantastic. I actually got drenched on that for once, and they really tried to get you wet on this one. And I really love the theming, like I said before in the previous vlog, a bear catching a fish like a salmon or a trout. I like that. I like how they added waterfalls like they uh, renovated it. They just fixed it. Beautiful area for sure. Great to see bobsled running too today. I, w I was actually quite worried at first it was going to be closed. I did one ride on Sasquatch and the launch side was only running right now, but wow, very solid for the launch. Now I'm in line for a flashback right now. It's actually a walk-on, surprisingly actually for Labor Day weekend, so here it goes. All right, today's food review is going to be the whole pork sandwich at Charlie's Saloon. We are right at the patio right now outside, right at Ghost Town. And right behind it, you can see uh, Adirondack Outwall and also uh, Stephen Demon. All right, so I also got french fries with that. So I put barbecue sauce on this. 
I also added extra barbecue sauce just in case if I need more. But here we go. I've had the pulled pork at Six Flags New England at JD Smokehouse, and that's always really good. So. Not bad for Gray Skate Food. Usually Gray Skate Food is hit or miss to me, but um, the one time during the season when I went to Alpen House, I was not impressed with the chicken tenders at all. It was definitely like undercooked or something. But um, got some barbecue sauce, so I'm gonna probably dip some more because I feel like it just needs some more barbecue. I gotta say, pretty good for the barbecue pulled pork, you know, but my eyes, not Six Flags New England good, but for Six Flags standards, it's not bad. I'd probably rate this a three out of five. So, not bad. I'm in line for the common now, and unfortunately today, it's uh, one train ops today, so um, no surprise, because I've seen it as one train ops during the season. The last time I was here, it was actually one train ops for some parts of the day, and I think it became two trains after, but as far as I know, it's only the red train today, and people even say the red train runs even faster than the blue, so let's see about my ride experience on the common today. Regular line is not long, it's only about a station wait, so I'd probably say it's about 10 minutes at tops. That is awesome. Alright guys, we're walking by Hurricane Harbor right now, and it, from the looks of it this time, Cliffhanger looks like it's open. That giant slide over there. I just got off the Comet, and I gotta say, Comet was very solid, but unfortunately we're running one train ops today. Uh, not the end of the world, but at least I got one ride on today. I'm gonna probably head to Alpine for my last ride ever, and hopefully I can do one ride out of Ryan Cowell before it closes, because I think the park closes at 6 today. Maybe 7, but I think it's 6 though, like most people say it is, so I'll take their words for it. All right, the park's pretty much closed now. We just left Ghost Town. We just did Desperado Punch as our last ride, and it's one of the last days you can ride until next year. And it was pretty good. Now the music you hear is actually played when it was at Bush Gardens Williamsburg too, during their October stuff, everything like that. It might be year round actually. But the waterfalls is working today at Ghost Town Cave, which is really nice. There's a little schoolhouse over there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh. Hit my head a tiny bit, but they're small. Yeah. All right, so we're about to leave the park now and there's the gift shop if you ever wanna buy your merchandise, but from the looks of it today, we are not gonna go to the gift shop. So, how was your day today, Tyler? It was a decent day. Good ride, I'm glad Bobsled was open for us. Rest oh yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. It's, we're definitely gonna miss it. It's not gonna be forgotten. And I'll never, yeah. I'm not gonna miss the seating arrangement. Oh God, that sucks. Yeah, that was a little more, I guess it's just like, it was much more shallow than I remember it being. It yeah. much bigger now, so. Well, I gotta say that was a pretty good visit. I was really looking forward to do Adirondack Outlaw today, but unfortunately I missed out on that, but oh well. Yeah, we'll definitely be back for sure for Fright Fest. So I gotta say, solid day overall. Not packed at all for the dry part, but the water part I can imagine was packed because there was a lot of people here overall.